Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramanleep Singh and today we are going to analyze the previous year's questions for SBI CBO exam, specifically related to the banking knowledge, right? So this exam was held on 23rd of January 2022. Why we are doing the analysis today? Aaj hum kyun kar rahe analysis? The purpose is to let you know what kind of question, what kind of questions are asked in the exam. And you will be able to know what topics to study. Padna kya hai aur kis tarah ke kis level ke questions pooche jate hain. That will help you to understand. And that's what we are trying to understand. Good Governance Index. GGI 2021 framework covered how many sectors. So uh, what we got to understand here. Indices. Ranks and indices we need to do. So generally what students do, they just, you know, read an index, an index rank of India and which is the top most, most, you know, country in the ranking. That's what we do, but that's, that's not done. If there are certain details, which you need to remember, you should remember that good governance index, how many sectors are there? I'm not trying to teach you what is good governance index, but I'm trying to tell you, you need to go that much in depth. Okay. If there are certain, uh, you know, details that should be done, jo padhni chahiye, wo padhye, right? Not just India is first or India is what is India's rank or what is Pakistan's rank, what is US rank, not that much or which organization released that particular uh, report. That's not enough. Okay. You need to do how many, uh, you know, further details for each index, there might be further details, which we are covering in the course, which we have already covered in our notes, please go through that. Okay. Anyways, there are 10 sectors. That's not really important. I'm telling you again, that's not really important. I'm doing this session to let you know what and and how much exactly you need to study. Okay. Foreign funding in India is regulated under FCRA Act. Individuals are permitted to accept the foreign contribution without the permission of MHA. Once granted F uh, FCRA registration is valid for five years. Okay, after a limit, you need to get the registration from FCRA and that, you know, registration is valid for five years. Okay. So private sector lender, uh, federal bank uh, has launched an online lending platform. So this FCRA Act uh, covered in the course already. So it's important FCRA Act. Okay, you should do that FCRA Act. Uh, the private sector lender, again, you need to understand the banks and the latest products launched by banks and any news related to the bank. This news is not really important right now. But what I'm trying to tell you, uh, the products launched by banks, it's an important topic. Okay, no need to go, you know, in depth right now about this question. Private sector bank, federal bank launched an online lending platform, federal uh, instaloans.com to facilitate quick and hassle-free credit approvals for, for MSMEs. Eligible borrowers can avail up to 50 lakhs. This question is not important, but you need to understand kind of questions that can be asked in the exam. Is tarha ke questions paper mein aa sakte hain. How many deputy governors serve RBI board? Uh, these kind of questions, I mean, if you're reading a newspaper every day, if you're reading a newspaper every day, you might have, uh, you know, seen that and that's a very common uh, news. So there are how many, uh, you know, deputy governors are there? There are four de deputy governors and one governor. Okay. Travelers going to Iraq and Libya who can draw foreign exchange in form of foreign currency notes and uh, coins. Uh, how much money they can withdraw? Uh, 5,000 US dollars. Okay. Or it's equivalent per visit. So Indo-Nepal remittance facility scheme very popular scheme leverages an uh, NEFT ecosystem available in the country for organize uh, for originations of such remittance. How what is the ceiling? What are the limits? So the limit is 50,000 per remittance and 12 remittances can be done in a year. So this is an RBI circular. So that's an old RBI circular. But if you are following bank exams today.com, you might have already seen this RBA circulars are very, very important. RBA circulars helps you, you know, they help you to understand uh, how how the banking industry is working, the regulations related to it. So this is an RBA circular, very important. Okay. Breakout Nations. This is a book. Okay. Who wrote this book? So this is also important students, uh, popular books. Okay. Uh, 
बुक्स रिलेटेड टू इकोनॉमिक्स बैंकिंग बुक्स रिटन बाय बैंकर्स बुक्स रिटन बाय इकोनमिस्ट सो दैट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट हु रॉट दिस बुक ब्रेकआउट नेशंस रुचिर शर्मा रॉट दिस एंड इवन इफ यू आर रीडिंग एनी डाइजस्ट रिलेटेड टू फाइनेंस यू मे नॉट फाइंड दिस नॉट वेरी कॉमन बट स्टिल इट्स इन द एग्जाम इंडिया करेंटली हैज सिक्स पेमेंट बैंक हाउ मेनी ऑफ देम गॉट शेड्यूल्ड कमर्शियल बैंक स्टेटस रिसेंटली फोर ऑफ दैम एयरटेल पेमेंट बैंक इंडिया पोस्ट पेमेंट बैंक फिनो पेमेंट बैंक पेटीएम पेमेंट बैंक सो रिसेंटली दे गॉट द लाइसेंस कवर्ड इन आर डाइजेस्ट वी कवर दैट हु इज़ द चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ बाकलेस बैंक सो आई नो दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द टीचर्स आई मीन दे रिकमेंड यू टू रीड आई मीन विच इज़ फेयर एन ऑफ यू आर Uh, you know remembering who's a chief executive officer or md of a psu or a private bank uh, it's sometimes it's you know difficult to remember i mean uh, uh, who's the chief executive officer of a barclays but why it was there in the exam because an indian origin person was uh, you know he is actually a ceo of barclays bank that is why it's it's in the news that is why it was asked in the exam theek hai so that that's the importance of this question So, thirty-fourth MPC Monetary Policy Committee was held from sixth to eighth April, twenty twenty-two, constituted under which section of RBI Act forty-five ZB? Common question asked repeat uh, repeatedly. ये बार-बार ये क्वेश्चन पूछा जाता है. यही वाले सेक्शन का. So important, okay? To uplift the situation with the microfinance institutions, some sort of regulation and support are required. therefore credit bureaus have intervened the situation to bring life in the mfi sector which uh, uh, which one of the following of them so uh, equifax right uh, basically i mean see that was that was the news so actually these three uh, high mark equifax experience they came together to support M- mfi sector this question was in the exam sort of news based not directly you know uh, directed to any rbi circular or anything okay so uh, this equifax it came forward so uttarakhand legislative assembly is unicameral legislature of the indian state of uttarakhand it currently has how many members 70 members sort of not related to banking but still it was in the exam okay so uh, cds uh, certificate of deposit so i have seen a lot of teachers are teaching this thing wrong this is an rbi circular ye pehli baat to ek rbi circular hai this question is from rbi circular students never read banking knowledge uh, from a textbook never never do that the best source of reading uh, banking knowledge is rbi's official website bear acts Uh, whether you are reading ibc negotiable instruments or you know surface read the Neg- uh, bear act or rbi's official website that uh, that is what i teach i do not make you know uh, you know my uh, notes from textbooks i i make my notes from official rbi website only or the bear acts that is the best strategy and that should be your strategy as well so certificate of deposit uh, cds are issued by banks uh to the individual and institutions for a period of 7 days to 1 year please remember 7 days to 1 year so uh, they are issued in the multiple of 5 lakh rupees so minimum 5 lakh and then multiple of 5 lakhs okay neft transactions see neft transactions done after the banking hours are automated most a lot of you are going to give me the answer as batch processing but no the answer is stp it is not your mutual fund systematic uh transfer plan it is a straight uh through processing right so after every 30 minutes uh the transactions are passed through stp in an automatic manner okay how many times a year financial stability report is released by rbi first of all you should know financial stability report is released by rbi first point and it is biannual saal mein do baar you should know that okay Which of the following is an example of overnight lending facility regulated by RBI? See, if you are already reading RBI circulars, if you are already reading financial awareness subject from bank exams today or anywhere else, by now you know that what is commercial paper, what are T bills, what is a notice money, what is a call money. 
so call money is the answer right you, nobody is going to teach you this question right nobody is going to teach you this question i mean uh, if you are reading banking you should know the answer okay the mea and the ministry of external affairs signed an agreement for second phase of passport seva program with which service provider with the tcs okay so this is in the news anything that is uh, you know the this is basically a current affair anyways an advisory council under the chairman uh, chairmanship of uh, deputy governor rbi has been constituting constitute for management of pidf what is pidf again this is an rbi circular so basically it is a fund uh, let's do it uh, first pidf it is payment infrastructure development fund it was started on 1st of january 2021 rbi in uh, rbi actually put money in this so they are going to subsidize deployment of pos point of sale uh, infrastructure in tier 3 to tier 6 centers uh, in the northeastern states of the country rbi actually you know uh, has a corpus of 811 crores okay so it has been extended for two more years the provisions of sale of foreign exchange cannot be made between persons residents in india and which countries uh, nepal and bhutan because residents of nepal and bhutan would be considered as residents of india only so uh, the foreign exchange provisions won't be you know implemented on them the first revised see the gdp estimates gdp estimates by nso by moody's by snp all these are really really important please remember that okay and what is the target for advances to weaker sections under the priority sector lending uh students uh, priority sector lending it's an important topic please remember that i have already done uh, an in-depth class on that whenever there is a uh, major update i make the class again from scratch please do that okay 12 percent is the answer remember all the limits every year i see in every exam there is one or two questions from priority sector lending it's a 20 minute class just go through it the maximum amount outstanding in this is an rva circular again in respect of fully kyc compliant ppi has been increased from 1 lakh to 2 lakh rupees okay so students sbi cbo 2022 course so we have already done our research the kind of research that i'm showing you today see how we do our research we have seen the previous papers so now we know the uh, we have we get the idea that these kind of questions are asked in the exam let it be rbi circulars let it be you know awards and honors books or let it be any committees from ibc negotiable instrument act or monetary uh, monetary policy so we got an idea these are the topics we need to cover ibac so we we cover all these topics right on a daily basis so instead of doing all your research yourself we can really help you out okay we do the complete syllabus coverage with the help of video classes, notes, test series, everything we provide on bankexamstudy.com. If there is any doubt in your mind, you can always ask your doubts on 9067201000. This is my personal WhatsApp number. Just drop me a WhatsApp message and I'm going to help you out with that. Okay. Any doubt in your mind, drop me a WhatsApp message and I'm going to help you out. So whenever I mean, anything you got, any doubt or something, drop me a WhatsApp message or there is a comment section where you can ask your questions. List of our successful students in uh, RRB Scale 2, Scale 3, 2021. Uh, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams in 2020, 2019. Bank of India, PNB, all these students that took our courses and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for all of them. All these are the students of bank exams today. I'm really, really happy for them. So that's all for today, students. Subscribe the channel and like this video. That's really, really important for me. So thank you and have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye.